everyone it's quarter past five on Friday the whatever the date is February and uh, I decided I was gonna leave it till the morning but I've decided to zip down to the deck run across a little boardwalk pop up my scope and see if I can see the oyster catcher that was seen this afternoon first for the year very much predictable on its dates because it's been moving earlier and earlier each year from mid late to February 10 years ago plus to now just past the end of the first week of February and okie dokie it's not really what you call a bonus bird but I've got a few minutes now so why not just pinging down uh, Headley Road at the moment and I'll be there in five minutes I'll check in well short and sweet mission successful and uh <laughs> it was asleep the whole time. I only been here in like three or four minutes. Beautiful distant sunset. A couple of seconds of footage of that, a couple of stills. I'll whack that up now. Hope you enjoy it. Have a fantastic evening. Look forward to having something to say about the weekend. Have a good one. Well, as expected, it's still here. Asleep, as expected too. And um, I'm sure it'll be here in the morning as well. I'm just trying to do my best to stay par with the list, part list, and give it everything I've got. I will pan out to the rather pleasant sunset. The sun's just gone down with some gorgeous pink over there. So oyster catcher. I've lost track. Is that species 96? Oh, isn't that nice? Stay in focus. to be here in the morning. So a closing action shot. <laughs> Did stamp its feet a minute ago, or eight foot. And uh, you never know, if I stand here for another 24 seconds, I might put its beak up. You can hear the parakeets coming in. It doesn't matter. I've got the oyster catcher at the earliest possible time based on my availability and a beautiful night. Looking forward to being out in the morning, as I said. For those of you that do want to know, that does appear to be a continental cormorant set to the left. We established, for those that cared, <laughs> if you couldn't tick it, really wasn't that interesting but they're quite pretty just having a pan around check there's no uh, pintail in the dying light 